Okay, we're gonna check out this abandoned mine. Look at this portico sticking out. It has a door on it. Right there's the door on the left. So we're gonna head on in here and see where this goes. It goes right into the hillside. Check it out. Okay, we're just inside the portal and there's some lawn furniture down there, probably from the miners, but a lot of airflow through here. So we're gonna head down there and check it out. Okay, we are just inside the portal of an abandoned mine. That's Jeff up there from OTG Exploring. Check out his channel. There'll be a slide out card in the upper right hand corner of the screen right about now with a link to his channel. He's got some pretty cool videos over there. So check him out. And uh, looks like we have some miners furniture here. There's a chaise lounge. And then here is probably for a cot. So probably two miners might have worked this mine and they slept in here. One slept on that chaise lounge and the other probably slept on a mattress or a sleeping bag that was on this cot. But uh, a lot of timbers here on the ground. Oh, here comes Jeff. I'm in trouble. I guess I'm not. <laughs> yeah, a lot of timbers here on the ground. Gotta be careful this isn't a false floor or a shaft. I don't think it is. Jeff made it across. But uh, yeah, extra timbers probably. There was a portico at the entrance, so it was pretty uh, pretty well timbered. Um, it's kind of wet in here. It's very uh, soggy. Here's one of these. Uh, Stan in Arizona uh, said these were called standoffs, these wooden spikes that you see near the ceiling of the tunnel. Those were used to hang up the electrical lights or the ventilation tubing or whatever, and uh, that's what those were used for. I didn't know they were called standoffs, so that's a mining term for you. Okay, it's kind of turning silver here in color, or gray. See that? And it looks like we're at a very wet intersection. Let's go check it out. So here's the intersection. Just coming back from that way. A couple ore chutes, tracks. There's a false floor there, it looks like. Oh, he has a shaft going down right there. Right to his left. See that? Go down about 100 feet. And then a tunnel straight ahead. And then something here off to the uh, right. Let's check out this shaft over here where Jeff is. So here's a heavily timbered chute coming down from upper areas. See how they plug the hole up with timbers? Yeah, here's the chute. This thing looks sketchy. Yeah, it looks really primitive, these big tree yeah. trunks. That's, that's about a foot in diameter, those tree trunks. Aren't, aren't these type of timbers from the 1800s? Yeah, so here's looking down this uh, series of ladders. Um, right at the bottom of this first ladder, you can't really see in the video. Well, there you can. There's about three or four rungs that are busted or missing. So we're not going to go down here. It's just a little sketchy. And without a rope, it's just not a good idea. So, But it looks like there might be a tunnel down there at the bottom going left and right. Or I don't know. But uh, we just came from that way. And we'll keep going this way. It looks like a major collapse here. And then here's this big chute. And look at all the, at the retaining wall. That's holding back tons and tons of waste rock. And this is ore chute number four. Oh, really? And we'll check out if we can get past this collapse or not. So we noticed right here in between the ore cart tracks are a bunch of old nails laying on a piece of lumber. Okay, we just climbed up uh, this uh, uh, waste rock pile here. Look at that big timber there. That's a, more than a foot in diameter. But uh, so this collection point is for this, uh, let me turn around here, looking up here into a stoked out area. And you can see, so the waste rock I'm sitting on, you can see daylight up there. This is like a, we're at the bottom of a, kind of like an ore pass or an open stope. And uh, 
all this rock I'm sitting on that's behind me here came from uh, up above me. And we just came from down there over that timber. So uh, you're looking up into a stoke chamber and you can see daylight up there. Pretty cool. And the tunnel continues this way. There's a ladder over there. So let's go check it out. Some interesting color there where my light is. Kind of a greenish, like right there where my light is. Greenish yellow. Looks like sulfur. And then here's a ladder. And here comes Jeff. So this ladder just goes up here into a little area where somebody was digging out up here. You can see. Um, let me bump a couple of rungs. Yeah, this doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to apparently turn around here. That's just a little area, a little alcove somebody was doing some mining in. But lots of, it looks like quartz here through here, as well as maybe iron. But uh, definitely is uh, very brown in color. So continuing onward, check out these colors here. Uh, almost has a green, green tint to it, some of these colors. And then here's another, this right here up to the right. Up. Yeah, there's daylight. Um, there's a bat up there too. Uh, let me get a better shot of that. Looking up an inclined shaft here, there's a bat that has taken up residence. And uh, I'm going to continue down the tunnel this way. Okay, tunnel just faces out there. Kind of damp in here. You can see moisture there, kind of glistening in the light from my flashlight. But yeah, it's really damp in here. So this is one of these places where you want to have an oxygen meter and hydrogen sulfide gas detector. Because if there's pyrite in here, pyrite and water can release hydrogen sulfide gas. So this mine's not exceptionally wet, but it's wet enough that it's good to have the meters like we do. Um, so there's a vein right there, narrow white vein, see that? But yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, this right here, this is a collection point for uh, that inclined shaft that's up here off to the left that I just showed you earlier. This is all the debris that has come down and collected here in the tunnel. So we're going to head back to the main junction and take the other branches. Okay, we're back at the main intersection. There's the entrance we came through. We just explored the tunnel there to the uh, left as we were coming in. Now we're going to take the tunnel to the right. And it looks like right here, a retaining wall collapsed. Look at that. See that? Um, yeah, there's an opening right there where my light is, and that retaining wall broke. Who knows when that broke? Could have been yesterday, it could have been 80 years ago, but all the uh, debris that was holding, that was being held back by the retaining wall came out. So, yeah, you don't want to be under one of those when it breaks. So up here on the left is a, the same kind of retaining wall, but it's still intact. So you can see the difference. You can see the difference between an intact one and one that's uh, uh, totally busted. Right here. Check that out. That's how they should look. But when they break, this is what they look like. And that's just a bunch of rocks waiting to come down right there. Look at that. Jesus. Scary. Check out this right here. Um, there's a part of a dynamite box. I 
not sure if that's a picture or that's just a smudge. DJ, 2010. So here's a big shaft in the floor. Oh my gosh. It's got ore part tracks and a ladder. And there's Jeff. So this big inclined shaft uh, cut comes down from above here on the left and uh, look up there, a lot of heavy timbering and then you can see the opening, the shaft collar. They have a gate over it to keep people and animals from falling in. And check out right here on these timbers, there's those old insulators. Those are pretty old. And somehow I gotta make my way I don't want to fall down in there. This is kind of loose rubble and uh, I've got to make my way over there to where Jeff is. Yeah, Jeff is further down that way, um, but he got past this with no problem right here in front of me, but that is one heck of a drop. That goes down about almost 100 feet, it looks like, and uh, that's pretty steep. And if you slip on that loose rubble, uh, you're going down there. So I don't think I'm going to take my chances going across there. If you want to see what's down there, uh, check out Jeff's video, OTG Exploring. Make sure you subscribe, and he'll be posting this video probably pretty soon on his YouTube channel. But I'm not going to chance going across that right there where my light is.